day guys welcome 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 to um, my acrylic pouring channel here in Australia we're having some quite significant downfalls of rain which is really good some areas are still not getting rain so just to give you an update um, but other areas are totally flooding so uh, crazy crazy extremes but um, you know what can we do mother nature so today well one thing i'm exciting to give this pottery banding wheel uh, literally giving it a spin i'm gonna test it out so i'm gonna try it on um a bloom effect or i might change as i go along but this is um yeah the montmartre pottery wheel so good for spinning and you know making your paint well i don't know i haven't really tried it i have done um work previously on a lazy susan but um i haven't on this i was just working a way of fixing my canvas to because i'm going to just do this little canvas but i didn't want it just kind of sitting there so i thought about a piece of card and i've put I've just put some tape so it's got sticky on that and I thought if I stick this my card to the top of my spinny wheely thing then I've got this ooh, and I can already see I'm probably going to get in a right old mess aren't I got my paint dress on um, yep got my paint dress on every dress is a paint dress now but wearing dresses most in the summer just pull on dresses because it's so blooming hot to be wearing waistbands and things might be my age but anyway so i thought that was a fairly a good little thing to put on top of my spinny thing and then i just do that and hopefully the canvas don't go whizzing off could very well do but you know i'm just going to give it a try so doing my sp spinning wheel so this is, uh, I know some people have, have told me they've already got one of these and have you tried them? So I haven't. So here I go. Uh, my Capriol Shabby Chic, the Australian online supplier sells these. If you're in the US, Canada or the UK, you will probably find them. They're a Montmartre one. You'll probably find them on eBay or Amazon. Not very expensive. Um, they're really quite weighted down at the bottom which obviously is going to be a good thing so I don't spin it everywhere but um, hopefully I don't get myself in too much of a mess today but I'm sure it will be fun either way so I'm gonna go and use some of my boom gel stains again so these are pre-made paints basically pre-made paints to create a bloom effect but I've got successful bloom effects and swipes out of these um, with nice, beautiful lacing. So that's what I'm going to try. I've got a little uh, selection of colours here. So I'll just pick them up as my eye feels right to do. And then I've just put a tiny bit of the black boom gel stain in a little cup. And I did put two drops of the boom booster, which is a cell enhancer so um but the rest of the paints they're going to basically come straight out of the bottle so i will give them a real good shake um making sure they're all mixed and i will just use a white base uh i am using from a white base some that i already had mixed up uh which is just a very thin down a uh, white studio acrylics I'm not using house paint or anything like that in this so that's what I'm using here I'm just using the studio acrylics and I'm not sure whether to this is very thin actually so I'm not sure whether to just try a little peek little test of me spinny thing with only a bit amount a small amount of paint on and using the um, the boom gel stain as a base so I might try that okay put your gloves on that's a good idea put your gloves on 
protection. We all need protection. Okay. So I've got my little duva. I'm going to put some of this on. Okay, it's coming out. But probably I've got boogers in the hole. Boogers in the hole. That's not good, is it? Okay, I might have to take the lid off because I need to clean the lid. I've gone and probably left the lid a little way open. So, 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 so. Okay, this bottle came and it wasn't named, so I'm so sorry. Um, that I do believe that all these colours are on the site on the the um, Shabby Chic site, so you will be able to get all the colours if there's anything you fancy, fancy, fancy. So okay, that's kind of like a clay colour. I'm not sure what it's named. I'm going a little bit lighter. The the one going on top is Banksy orange. So I'll give this one a go. Okay, and then I might go the vi native violet purple. It looks so black, but it is actually a gorgeous colour when it's with these guys. I might just put a little bit of the orange on top, the Banksy orange. A bit of the white, but I'm going to use the cell accelerator in the, well, as you've seen, I've done it in black probably put too much and then just put me so okay Ooh. I'm gonna use my straw my straw it's a stainless steel straw with the I was using it that way so it kind of I'm going to try it anyway. Ooh, look at that without even trying. And all this beautiful stuff happening here. Okay, shall I? <laughs> oh, I'm probably going to send my canvas. Uh, it's got to be, got to milk. I think I need to just secure my canvas for the tape. For the sake of this experiment, I am securing my canvas uh, until I think of um, oh, a better way to hold the canvas on this. But look at that already! Wow. Oh, it is. Bread in it, look at that. Probably needed to put more more of this around. Wow, well, look at that one there. Pretty cool. That is with this I've got these stainless steel. They're they're obviously just straws reusable straws but I got in a pack of four where did I get these from I will think about it and let you know Ooh. okay let's do it I'm gonna just go for bust Okay, that's kind of flung it a bit. I've got some on the floor here. <laughs> I don't know if it's hit me, but that's okay. It's an art room. <clears throat> well, 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 what is the good of a well without a bucket? That's what my mum used to say. I don't know what that means, and I don't know where the saying come from, except my mother used to say, what is the good of a well without a bucket? 
<sighs> okay, so that's interesting. I've just made a, a mess. I think this would probably work better if I had it encased in a box so you could give it a real good old spin. So I would want to go from there and stretch it out. So I might just move my spinny wheelie thing. That actually looks quite effective, just like that. Look at that. So that's a bloom effect without all the different ingredients that you have to get in house paint and varnish and this paint and that paint and a base paint and a pillar paint. How simple is it? Just the boom gel stain. And that was my, you know, just a muck around and look at the lacing and the effect in that. I'm, ha I'm happy with that. I might just, with this particular one, I might just spread that white around a little bit because that's quite nice. Obviously, maybe if I'd have thinned that a bit down a bit further, the white, because um, I just really wanted to test what this, oh, there we go, <laughs> I'm gonna knock it off. Um, the spin wheel, after I did the initial blow, it's really good at taking it out around the rest of your canvas. But I'd love to hear your ideas for the spin wheel, to give me some ideas what I can do on a, another pour using the spin wheel. So it's obviously good for just doing this on a smaller size canvas, and I could always put a bigger board underneath it, but that's pretty that's quite nice all on its own from what I've seen of these the bloom technique and I don't take nothing away from the creator or anything because it's wonderful but the thing is that if you can just buy the paint that's already done and it's a no-brainer you don't have to think about it how good is it so we will have a look at that it's gorgeous I really like it so we might try next, I'll try and do the swipe with this paint. So we'll, I'll just set up for that. Okay, we're back again for part two on the, um, going to do the boom gel again uh, with uh, a swipe. So we'll just see how the different techniques work out with the boom gel. Boom gel. So these, I think, are about $20 for a 250 mil, which at first of all, you know, thought, oh, that's expensive, but you only use that tiny wee bit on it. So it's not, it's not really expensive when you're using such a small amount and they have so many brilliant colours. Um, obviously I'm not yet got all the colours or I haven't even tried all the colours, but um, yeah, it's just an easy no brain way to do that gorgeous um, bloom without having to try and get the recipe right and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm just coating this whole canvas in my white that I have left, which is uh, just the, it was the studio acrylics in the Montmartre and I've obviously got something, still got paint on my spatula, but who cares? It's no worries. Just paint, remember, it's art, abstract art, therapy, escape, escapism, just enjoy, absolutely just enjoy your space, your time. The animals around you, if you've got an animal, just watch your cat, don't step in the paint. <laughs> Haven't got a cat, but my dogs. Okay, so just coated that. I'm going to do these, probably I may use the same colours as I did in the um, the bloomy, the, the blobby one. 
so I can kind of see how they all come out. So that was that kind of clay colour. This is the Banksia orange. I will add, ah, oh, oh, see, 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 see. I never did the lid up. Okay, I'm gonna take the white out of it. Uh, this is the gorgeous deep purple. What's it called? Native violet purple. Um, Will I or won't I? Uh, should I go another colour? Um, let me think, let me think. I uh, might go... Okay, I'm going to go crazy and go golden wattle yellow. So I'm going to give this one a shake yet. Um, And it's see, you're just using such a small amount of it. Gonna go down here with this lovely purpley colour because I just love it. So this is just my test with this, and I'm going to put on the black. Sal activator, which would probably be better if I poured that on. Maybe I'm going to just add a touch of water to that because um, I'm going to put it all the way along there. So I really, I may have stuffed up the cell activation by doing what I've just done, but um, we'll see. We'll see. This is so much thicker. Woo. So I'm gonna do my swipe over that. I'm going to swipe with the um, plastic scraper thing. So just try and touch it on the black that I've just put there. Oh, look at those cells straight away. Holy dooly. Jackaroony. Oh, so, well, it's lacing. Gorgeous, gorgeous lacing. So that is a no-brainer. Nice and easy. No problems. No trying to get mixtures right. And I believe if I dedicated more time and energy to this one um, particular, you would get it. But there's so much of this bloom effect out there on the internet now, like on the pouring sites. And I know I've had a few comments that, oh, please don't do a bloom. So fed up of them. And then they are beautiful, but I think it's just like got so, I think there's lots of people that are just over it. But. This is just um, a no-brainer. Look at that. Oh, I've had it, no heat, no nothing, no effort. <laughs> just merrily gone my way. I'm gonna just give it a little spin. Don't know what that will do, but you never know. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the lace is coming up. Probably would come up either way, but that is pretty nice. And because I have to jillify it, I have to jillify that, by jillifying it, I'm sure you know what I mean, I get my teeny tiny, teeny tiny water balloon. It's just got some other gubber stuck on it. I don't know what it is, but anyway. This, look at the, I, well, I'm sure you need to have a close up because this is just gorgeous. And look, oh my goodness. Look where I've done the balloon. It's just the cells. It's just absolutely. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at the cells on my balloon. Okay, I've got to press them on that board that I've got sitting there. Oh, oh I'll have to show you what it, that, oh, I may have found something here. Look at this. Where, 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 where can I? 
print it, push it so I can show you. So that off my balloon, when you push it, oh, that one's not doing it because probably didn't do it quick enough. The cells, okay. Cells come straight up in your next balloon push. That's pretty astonishing. It's just a canvas pad. Wow, well, look at those. The cells just come straight through that balloon. Okay, ladies who do all this um, balloon technique, have you tried that? Have you tried pushing a balloon into it? That is pretty amazing. Okay, now that's given me my next idea. I have to do this with the my balloon kissing and rolling. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to give you a close-up. That's really pretty. That is really, really pretty. I'll put photos on at the end. Oh, no, it does not do it justice. There's the flowers through it, quite like intricate, like they've got, they're lovely. Okay, guys, there you go. So that's the uh, boom gel stain, was the bloom effect. Quickly go pick up the bloomer, um, show you. And then that's the swipe. So there's the bloomer, gorgeous. And then I did, did a quick bit in the corner just to try and fill a corner up because having the negative space looks nice, but that's gorgeous, no brainer, no trying, easy peasy, Japanesey. Swipe, look at that. And they I'm going to do close up on these. They've come into really intricate little delicate flowers. So thank you guys for subscribing. Thanks for joining me today in this mad art lab. Um, until next time, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I appreciate it and it's free. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Would you give this a go? What do you think of my spinny wheelie thing? All good. Until next time, bye for now.